Good morning, Andrew. Yes, yeah, so uh, beat on both lines for JP Morgan, though trading a little bit lower. Revenue 31.4 billion, forecast was for 30 billion, uh, and uh, EPS 378 forecast was for 321. Uh, so beat on both lines, I think my mic just picked up. Uh, and uh, the reason for the beat on the bottom line, mainly because of a, uh, a net benefit on the credit losses line of 2.3 billion. Forecast all over the place for that, but fair to say that the release a bit bigger than expected, and therefore that EPS beat which is significant, not uh, being given full weight by investors and, and the shares down. Though it's important to say that revenue beat as well, in particular on the capital market. So, yes, capital markets are down year over year because of a blowout second quarter last year, but down a little less than expected. Fixed income trading coming in where it was expected, 4.1 billion. That is down 44 percent from last year. But the other two lines within capital markets stronger than expected. So investment banking fees, 3.4 billion. The forecast was for about... 3 billion, so that is up year over year by 11%. And equity trading, 2.7 billion. The forecast there was for 2.2 billion, and that is up 13%. Uh, so only the fixed income part of that was down aggressively year over year. The other two parts were up. It'll be really interesting to see what Goldman Sachs does there. Uh, big debate uh, on the street about who's taken market share over the last year uh, or not. Uh, but decent numbers there, particularly on equity trading for JP Morgan. Net interest income, the other part of the bank, a little disappointing. 12.9 billion. They had guided that down over the last month or so, uh, uh, but the forecast was 13.2 billion for that. So a slight miss on that part. Strong capital markets. Uh, I'll send it back to you, Mike. Stock down 1%. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.